Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm going to try and answer a question I got a couple weeks ago. I forget who uh, posed it, but um, here's to answer your question. So this is a full bridge rectifier. You guys should be familiar with this. If you're not, here's a, a quick overview. Over here, we have our mains AC coming in. Then it goes through a transformer. So where we have a lower voltage, that is the blue lines. You see that is lower voltage, but still AC. It's fed into the bridge rectifier and out comes the low voltage DC. And what this bridge rectifier is doing is it's using diodes, which are kind of a one-way electric electronic bow to keep the current all flowing in the same direction. So it doesn't alternate. It's always the same. Just a quick overview. I've got other videos on it if you don't know what it is. But what the question was is how do you set this up on a breadboard? I mean, you can do it like this. You, you can take your breadboard and, you know, blitz your diodes all over the place. But it becomes a little bit sloppy and you're kind of all over the place. So what, what he wanted to know was how can you set it up in a more linear fashion to fit a breadboard better? Basically, how can you, how can you reconfigure this diamond-looking diode thing here in the middle to better work on a breadboard? Well... It's not that hard, and I'm going to show you here, and keep a, a look at these points which I've labeled A, B, C, and D, because this is all you have to keep in mind, and you can set up these diodes basically however you want, as long as you keep the connections of what's going to these points the same. So, we have our low voltage AC being fed at points A and point C, okay? So, if this half of the cycle is positive. The AC comes in here and it's forced in this direction through this diode because it can't go this way to that way. If this is the more positive, then it's going to come up through here and here. And that's basically what we're doing. All right, so let's lay this out in another way to make it work better on a breadboard. All right, here is our linear layout. Here's our transformer over here, same as we have up here, okay? Here are our points laid out again, and you can see they're pretty much in the same way. So now we can bring A here and C here. Then B, which is our DC negative, comes out over here. And D, which is our DC positive, comes out here like that. And now what we have, up here so you can see it all, is a more linear, more breadboard friendly layout. And it will all work exactly the same. I hope that answers your question. I hope that makes things a little bit easier for you to understand. If it does, and you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.